to steal client information from businesses and other organizations. One of the new methods was explained by security specialist David Gittins on the sidelines of a fraud management controls seminar organized by the Institute of Internal Auditors Barbados chapter. He says the cyber crooks have been able to access the data of companies with strict security by targeting their third party providers. Hackers have realized that some organizations, some large organizations, have a lot of security practices in place, a lot of the different processes, the equipment, the tools, and it's very hard to get into to them. But because a lot of organizations also outsource, what they've realized that the third party that they outsource to could be a weak link, because they might not have the manpower, the skills, and all the tools in place to protect them. So a growing trend is that you attack the third party, because the third party you know would have the data, and it's a lot easier. Mr. Gittin says businesses can take action to mitigate the problem. You need to govern it. You need to use certain best practices such as have the memorandum of understanding or the SLA with the third party that requires it to follow certain international best practices, practices such as the right to audit. Whereas if you have a third party process your data, it has a guarantee that say every year you, come up, you can audit its security practices to make sure that they're actually protecting your data. An effort is being made to sow the seeds of entrepreneurship in the minds of children in government nurseries across Barbados. This is being done by Youth Equipped to Achieve, or YEAH, and Entrepreneurial Youth Education Solutions, or EYES. President and CEO Marsha Ann Clark says as part of activities to mark Global Entrepreneurship Week, she explains how they intend to go about it. So we will be going into the nursery schools, all eight of the government nursery schools during this week to do agripreneurship, which is a combination of looking at the environment through agriculture and entrepreneurship. The title is from the nursery to the boardroom. Now, of course, we set realistic expectations and we know that this is a process over time. So what we will do is start with the mango experience. We are going to look at the sensory experience, the eyes, the touch, the taste, the smell, and introduce these children, three to four year olds, to the mango and the different products that can come from the mango. Here is a look now at a summary of selected stock exchanges from the region. Japanese 